Welcome back to Crossroads. We always love having the Marion Community School of the Arts here on the show with us. And Mark Fowser, Mr. CSA himself, is here with us today telling us about some great events they have coming up here soon. Mark, how are you? I'm great. Riley, you're doing a great job. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Well, yeah. we're actually here to ask you. I heard a rumor that there's an exciting new show coming up here. Can you tell me more about yeah, it? Yeah, there is. Um, uh, tragically, last year, one of our... Uh, one of my greatest students, and she was the head of our uh, dance team, uh, Shay Harris, passed away. And um, Allison Floria, her former roommate at Ball State, um, had an idea of creating a show to honor Shay. And so she went to all the different dance studios in Grant County because Shay virtually danced with every one of them. And um, they all agreed to do it. And it, it's a celebration of her life, and, and she's just a terrific kid. So. It'll be a great show. It's February 9th at 7 o'clock at the Walton Center, and you'll see all the great dancers from Grant County and beyond, and it's very moving. Mark, is this is this a benefit for anything or just really just a celebration? Well, I, it's a celebration, but the money that's raised goes to the community foundation, and there's that's a right. scholarship endowment that will go on. And like last year, Tristan Miller uh, was awarded that scholarship, so it's a full ride for him. And ironically, Tristan is a professional now uh, doing tap kids, so he travels around the world. And so it's already paying off. Um, it's, a, it's, it's great to think about Shay's life still reaching out and connecting and oh, touching. You know, very much. After she's gone. Yeah, her image is proudly displayed above Studio One when you walk into the school, and she'll always be a part of that place. Well, I was just uh, a, kind of a quick transition here, but mm -hmm. you've got so much going on right now. I was trying to tell Riley about the crazy Go Arts, Go Karts. Let's, for anyone who doesn't know, let's just tell them again what happens Memorial Day around here. Well, it's, it's the greatest race in Grant County, and, and it's kind of a combination between the WWE wrestling and, and, and racing. <laughs> and it's on the great race weekend of the Indy, but all the businesses get together and they, they talk smack, and then they, they're on Crossroads, they're on uh, in, in the Chronicle Tribune, they're on the radio, and it's a great way to promote themselves. We do a lot of media, um, visual media, and, and Facebook, and and so forth, and it's just fun for businesses to get a taste of the arts and become the artists themselves, and it has become very competitive over the years, so it'll be a great event. Competitive, it sounds like a little bit of comedy might be thrown in there. What's, be, what's happening past years, or what might people oh, be able to look forward to? I mean, anything from the Via Pig getting into a Royal Rumble with carry services to, you know. Um, Not as crazy as it sounds, but. <laughs> <laughs> Randall being chased by the Sheriff's Department in the car on the track. That was the fastest I ran. When I came to the actual yeah. race, I got nowhere near there, and I said, next year I'm just gonna be an owner, so I delegated it. But we have poll day coming up, and a couple of us were there last year. You've got the local radio station, and this has kind of turned into a fun thing with Media Road. Tell us what's coming up February 12th. Well, thanks to you guys and the Chronicle Tribune and, and, w -I -W, uh, and uh, WBAT, the, the, the businesses that enter the race on the 9th, uh, forgive me, on the 12th of February um, on poll day, they enter their, they pay their registration fee, they, they get free food from Moe's, there'll be a chamber, a Gas City and Grant County Chamber event, and then we will pull, pull I mean, uh, pull the poll position out. <laughs> Try saying that three times. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sorry about that. But um, anyway, we'll randomly do it, so it'll be like the NCAA brackets. And it's very exciting, because you don't know who's gonna be ranked first, second, third, fourth, but then we're gonna do something new on this night. And that is, if you're competitive, you can try to draft up and you can auction that and work it out so that you might go, okay, WIW is number one. Never. It could <laughs> not be. A, not on the racetrack. And somebody could go, look, we'll give you $1,000 to trade positions and you could get $500 and the Community School of the Arts gets 500 and everybody knows it's for a fundraiser and it really helps support our kids. Those scholarships really, there are a lot of people in need and I love that they have the opportunity, thanks to the community, to get out there and express their passion. That's so great, mm -hmm. doing good in the community and making it fun at the same time. Absolutely. <laughs> and yeah. embarrassing Randall, apparently, That's which is so always fun. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that night I get to be a reporter and we did have a lot of fun, not at our own expense, although there's always an opportunity for that, but we, <laughs> we had enough fun last year. This year, I think you're gonna see some highlights of that actually on Crossroads this year. Oh, so terrific. we're gonna, gonna condense that down. You can see the full interviews of everybody that goes through the line. They'll be online like right. they were last year, but yeah. we're gonna have, we're gonna have some 
condensed highlights here. Well, that's wonderful. I really am grateful for what you guys do, and I'm excited for you to oh. see all the great things that happen. And I can only say to the folks at home, I am blessed to get to see all the changes in the kids' lives daily, and it's so important to know what a difference they make. And you can now visually see how the, the school has transformed the downtown. Well, really we say nice. this every time we go down there, but if you just go to any CSA thing, any afternoon when, when classes are in session, you see what this is about. So you really don't want to miss it. The Go Arts, Go Karts poll day, that's Tuesday, February 12th at 5 p.m. And that's for all the per people participating in the Go Arts, Go Karts event. And then the Shea Harris Benefit Show we were talking about is Saturday, February 9th at 7 p.m. And for tickets to that, you can call 662-6263. Mark, thank you so much again for coming here and telling us all about that. I'm really excited to see, you know, Shea's legacy lived on and also, you know, through dance and CSA. So really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Need more things to do, don't you? <laughs> A few more. <laughs>